Hi everybody, this is going to be a quick tour of Microsoft's headquarters in Seattle. So if you're not familiar with where Seattle is, that's too bad. Um, it's basically in the Pacific Northwest and the upper left hand corner of the United States. And basically Redmond is where Seattle is primarily located for their uh, Microsoft headquarters. So I'm going to zoom into the address for building 92, which is the visitor center for Microsoft. Um, it's kind of a peculiar building. Whoa, sorry about that. This is kind of loading a little bit weird right now. Sorry, because this is the uh, highway system is right next to it. So this road 520 is like basically right there. Um, but basically the visitor center is right here and you can start to see what that all looks like. Pretty big parking lot and pretty big buildings next to this. Now there's basically 50,000 employees here and over a hundred buildings uh, all involved uh, with Microsoft. So it's really huge. It's basically a massive complex. So as I zoom out, you can start to see where it is. Now um, the uh, former, the CEO of Microsoft, basically Bill Gates lives right along here in Medina. Um, so it's a fairly close drive right into Microsoft's. And this is Bellevue, pretty much downtown with some skyscrapers as well. So there's basically two main skyscraper areas, Seattle and Bellevue. So if you do a quick search for Microsoft, you'll see that many of the buildings are right here, but there's also other um, satellite campuses that are actually pretty big Microsoft Millennium Campus, for instance, and then they got um, this other one here, which is Microsoft Redmond Town Center. And then they have um, Microsoft Technology Center, which is located right in Bellevue. And then they even have a Microsoft Cafe. And then there's also a Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Center right there. But basically it's divided up like this. You can see they basically have a West Campus and an East Campus. And it's not even really, uh, remember this road actually goes north south. So this is the West Campus, this is the North Road. This is the South, so East Campus campus is down in here and then you have some other new areas that they're building on and this doesn't even show the extent of the new um, buildings that they're actually working on this is the north south view and the, again the west campus on this side of the road and the east campus on this side of the road so there's still a whole mass of new centers being built i drove around through here this portion here was just amazing to see um all the uh new stuff going on Here's a picture of what the uh, visitor center looks like. It has a big, nice big Microsoft sign out front, and then this is the visitor center right there. And there's a great level of street view all throughout the whole thing, so you can see pretty detailed. I'll just zoom in right here to see if we can grab something that looks pretty good into the visitor center right here. This looks pretty good right here. So, And you can see this is basically the visitor center with people hanging out right out front, um, then the building, and this is building 92 right there, so you can see um, what this all looks like. Pretty packed with cars as well. Looks like lots of visitors from all over. Um, there's also the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation building that is quite far from Redmond. So basically we were looking basically at this whole section in here, primarily right around 92, right? Um, and then this, this is all Microsoft area right in here. So it's at least as big as downtown Seattle, um, but basically 50,000 employees and over 100 buildings. But let's look at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Center here so you can see where that is. It might surprise you. It's actually located near a healthcare area. And then you see exhibits and guided tours. Um, but basically this building right in the center here, Institute for Disease, Disease Modeling. So it's a quite a large, extensive area. Just this one building um, is quite massive right next to downtown. So he's actually next. Now the interesting thing about this is that this building here is actually located right next to, guess what? The Space Needle, and I'll turn around and you can see the Space Needle. Um, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see. So this is quite a massive facility. Um, it's at least as large as part of the, um, uh, you know, town. And it's a really nice spot because it's located right next to the. Uh, um, this is the. This is the called Lake Union right here, and there's a whole. I stayed in a hotel right next to this, which 
was pretty nice for about $150 a night, um, which was a great deal. Um, but you can see here that there's uh, quite a number. Google is actually located over here. Um, they're right on the waterfront, and I think they're in one of these buildings right along here. You can see, or even I think one of these now. So to kind of double check on that, but um, but basically this is all really nice downtown area. Um, it is pretty flat, which is nice too. So you can walk pretty easily between the streets. Um, whereas on the other side of this street, when you head down into um, this downtown Seattle, it becomes quite hilly right into the downtown area. So basically, Bill Gates' partner, uh, Paul Allen, owns a lot of facilities here. We'll look at his uh, facility in just a second. Open this up on the geohacking, and we'll see his building. And this is quite a massive building. It's the Neuroscience Center. And as we zoom in here, we'll look at that. And I think this is even the wrong address, believe it or not. So they show it over here, um, incidentally, but it's actually over in here. The Neuroscience Center is actually down in here, and I'll have to look at the exact address, but I think it's one of these buildings right in here. Um, yeah, along in this whole region, as you're walking downtown, you'll see it. It's pretty massive. So going back to the main Microsoft campus, you'll see all these buildings labeled like 34, 33 so on and basically this is the whole area now that what I wanted to center in as the Microsoft treehouse See if we can see what that looks like really quickly here Maybe even zoom in and see if we can get a street view here Get some street view pictures so We got one street view shot right here. So I'll see if I can zoom in And you can see there's a whole design for the treehouse right here someone got a pretty good view of it you can see a little treehouse spot right on the campus and you can see another little spot right over here so kind of a cool spot now many of the public events are actually held at the microsoft reactor redmond so you should know where that building is um, outside of the visitor center there'll be special events uh, i registered for some of them and they're pretty cool they have uh, all kinds of tech um kind of events held here so I'll just show you where that's located so it's kind of hard to find so when I first pulled in I pulled in on 36th Street and then drove right past the reactor and you can almost miss it if you're not careful but let me show you how why this why this is easy to miss there's a lot of trees right on the campus right here so let me see if I can zoom in oops let me see if I can get this so as you can see it's kind of a not a very fancy building but it is their reactor building and there's a lot of events that are held here so and there's actually quite a lot of this is pretty much how it looks on the campus and you can drive around through here uh, it seems to be open uh, to the public driving on these private streets um, So I wanted to show you something very mysterious here. So you basically have the reactor building, uh, which is right over here. So what I did uh, when I drove through the campus was I drove through here and we kind of went around through here um, and we actually ended up at a mysterious Buddhist temple um, and then drove around. So we, we noticed here, this whole place, so we basically stayed primarily on the east side campus. Um, and I kind of wish I would have gone over here because there's a little bit more. There's a, you know, there's a basically a soccer field, football field, and uh, the visitor center is over on this side. But I was so interested in wanting to see the reactor center that I kind of avoided some other things. So there's some really fancy houses right on this street. Um, probably the top employees live back in here, actually. So um, basically along this street and I'm back in here. So if you are uh, working for Microsoft and you're pretty high up, you're probably working and living right in here. But there's a Buddhist temple right over here and I'll even show you what that looks like. It's so funny because um, I'll go on the street view. Well, they don't even have street view for it. So um, basically what we did is we drove down here and then there's actually a dead end here and you can get right into the water almost. Um, but we drove here and it's like just like a small court. So there's like, at the end of this, this is the Buddhist temple right here. So it's like these weird, mysterious houses. And then you have this like Buddhist temple right at the end here. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks just mysterious as heck, so it's kind of spooky driving down here because you're not sure like if it's like Microsoft employees or what. But I'll just drive you through this whole area, and this is 40th Street, and then you'll go in right into the Microsoft campus, and you'll see it's like kind of um, fenced in here on the side, um, and I'm actually kind of going quite it's quite far um, to get to the Microsoft campus, and you actually have to cross a couple streets. Now you start to get to this weird part where Microsoft gets to be on, it's, it's basically on the left, We're looking for the campus here on the left, and this is some more apartments and some things. Uh, so we're almost there, the Microsoft buildings. Gosh, maybe it was farther than I had thought, but let me see if I can speed up this drive. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's basically pretty far. Um, Maybe about a mile or so so it's hard to do this on the street view sorry about this i'm gonna pause this so what i did i just opened this up so basically that was the buddhist temple we were just walking up the street here um but right here like particularly it's either at this entrance you'll see a very mysterious house um behind this side so right here i think it is yeah so as you pull out of microsoft and they don't even show it but it's kind of like hidden so it's like I don't know what Microsoft security is like, but basically um, it seems like this building right here is probably pretty true to Microsoft security um, right on the, as you enter. So that's probably that's where they put the main security building right there, but it doesn't really show. So here down on this map, you can kind of see, but where the really fancy buildings are is pretty surprising uh, what you might expect. So. I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see here, there's this ginormous building right here. Actually, I'll just pull it right here. Maybe we can see it on one side. So this is probably like heavy Microsoft security on this, but there's this behind these trees, there's like majorly cool building, um, which is almost like a house with its security. So it's almost like their security, like when you're talking about 50,000 employees, there actually is probably a lot of stuff going on um, and then there's actually electrical power here so maybe there's a whole lot of things going on right in this region so that was my suspicion but who knows exactly what's going on um, building 30 it says here um, but then there's a lot of other buildings here they got the power center and some other things um, but it's a pretty awesome little building area so what else do we know about Microsoft? Um, well, uh, it's all got this whole new area. This is 2024 imagery. This is gonna be a brand new building. So it's really amazing how big this building project is. This building, I don't know what they're calling it, but um, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be uh, sustainable purchasing. I don't know, so some kind of sustainable building uh, in this area. So it's gonna be a huge project, it looks like in general. Um, but I would definitely say that um, a lot of the housing um, right in the area is right off of here and there's also some whole other areas here. And it's really nice to actually drive through, uh, I think on 24th Street, you'll get a really feel for how wealthy this is in this region. Um, driving down here and there's even a little yacht club at the end of the block here that you can check out and Mentina, that's kind of cool to see. Um, and again, I think what building is this that I'm looking at here? I forgot what building this is. Oh yeah, so this is the train station. So if you want to take the train, this is the big train station. It's called it's called the Redmond Technology Station. And it's still under construction, um, but I think it's probably been built by the time that you're watching this. Um, it already looks like it's pretty heavily used, even on the maps here. So it looks like it's pretty solidly good so that's a pretty good station uh, to take if you want to take the train in there and then here's a picture of that tree house i thought that was a cool picture and then you, they also have what's called the microsoft garage now i couldn't really find where it's located on the campus it's a little bit difficult to find um, and then they also have like a 3d view of this garage potentially um, that you can check out but basically the map is this one here and it's kind of like a kind of a navigational facility or something but and then here's some details about the microsoft garage and then there's a whole bunch of different things they have the divisions they have the engineering groups digital crimes units and then all these 
research and then um, just a ton of different places so you'll be very surprised um, what I would say is that when you drive on the campus um, it's very surprising what you discover so um, definitely highly recommend uh, taking uh, some time and I for some reason it's hard to get on this side of the highway so just by car um, so I think you may have to follow a specific road here um, to get to the other side 36th Street it looks like and that's pretty hard to find so it's really hard it's easier because when you're going north you can exit and get off here um, and especially if you're going to a conference or a meeting at Microsoft like at the reactor building or you want to check out the visitor center you may have to it may be difficult actually to get to this side of the highway and like I said it's definitely worthwhile checking out the uh, Medina headquarters and checking out Medina area um, there's some a lot of billion at least two billionaires that live here and they're multi-billionaires um, and it's pretty cool just to see the security as well as what's going on in that region um, is pretty interesting um, and as well as here it just feels really nice driving along the waterfront here along this water area that's really cool street to take a look at anyway i hope you really enjoyed this tour of microsoft hope it's helped you understand some cool things going on um, let me know if you got some questions i'd be glad to talk with you more about it thank you so much